Hello guys, welcome back to the channel. And today, <laughs> yeah, we've got, I think we've got a good one for this one. Uh, well, it looks like a bunch of the Mona MPs have sent a letter to Michel Barnier demanding an Iblex extension. Yeah. It's kind of hilarious how unbelievable this fucking is. You lose the election, you lose the vote, you got rid of your Labour MPs, 17.4 million people, the media's on your side, but nobody who watches it supports you, but you still go ahead with you, don't you? Fucking Christ. So, a bunch of pro EU MPs have not stopped playing the games. Lovely. This is actually including people like the SP Westminster leader Ian Blackford working together with acting Liberal Democrat leader Sir Ed Davey to send a letter to Michel Barnier for supporting the Brexit delay. But let's continue and read the article from the Express. Save us, Michel! Seamus Arch the Millionaire's shock Brexit plot. Barnier urge to act <laughs> oh god this is that this is gonna be good if they're gonna be putting this kind of title on <laughs> so let's see what the article says arch laminas have launched a shock brexit plot to and have urged michel barnier to act to let the britons exit from the eu i because these selfish old minions can't fucking accept democracy Accept your Nazi socialism, my friends. <laughs> Both the SP leader Ian Blackford and the acting Liberal Democrat leader Sir Ed Davey. Oh, yeah, I forgot what happened in the first one. <laughs> I had to say that. Have signed a letter to the EU's chief Brexit negotiator, Michel Barnier, to support the Brexit delay. They told Mr. Barnier its significant opposition to the UK's. Refusal to consider extending the timetable for tasks. Is it because the EU is quite unnegotiable? Maybe. They, they want such move would allow Brexit talks to take place when the efforts of national governments and European Union will not be affected. So sorry, uh, will not be engaged solely with the dealing the dreadful 2019 COVID Ep pandemic epidemic what the fuck am i talking about um yeah so never is what you're trying to say you want to do a covid first then you want to do a negotiations no one gives a shit all the blexiteers want is to get out of the fucking eu i want to get out of the eu no deal probably preferably and it looks like we're going to go that way with the talks. And, yeah. Y you think we're just going to wait after this? You're just going to wait? How long do you think you want to stay there for? Two years? Three years? Fuck that right off. We know what you're going to do. You're going to make us pay all the money that we know you are trying to save up. Because you know you can't make all that money. And did you hear how much they were proposing? $500 billion euro to bail out every fucking country and germany is already at court with this so let alone us coming in filling in the piggy bank the golden goose is walking out the pen you're not sure us to get out as well anyway with the uk having formally quit the european union oh yes that actually happened good thing that happened in 2020 amazing talks taking place between the uk and the eu determine key areas such as the future trade relationships also not telling you they're going really fucking badly like they're asking really stupid stupid demands but the tra but with the transition period due to expire at the end of the this year the main is fear the uk will be forced to into a no deal scenario if an agreement cannot be reached yes that such a sad thing that could happen and it'd be fucking amazing if it did Anyway, the letter to Mr. Barnier also issued, signed from, oh yes, signed by the, 
Pillet? Pillet Simu? I can't read this. MP Liz Savo Roberts. Green MP Caroline Lucas. Stephen Fry, MP from the Alliance Party. As well as the Northern Ireland MP Colum Eastwood from the Social Democratic and Labour Party. So they're just all a bunch of the minor parties. Socialists and the minor parties it is then. How fucking convenient. They contacted Mr. Banya to highlight the significant opposition to the UK's government extreme position. Oh, it's so fucking extreme. We just want to fucking leave. Anyway. Um, amongst the business community and the general public and elected representatives. I think folk know what they were voting for. And they were pretty fucking sick that we will still talk about three years later. But let's continue. The opposition MPs know as the Scottish, Scottish and Welsh governments both back the extension of the transition period among the majority of political parties in Northern Ireland exclusive. Yeah, sure. Sure. Because everyone in Scotland voted to leave. Yeah, I know there was a more majority of the main, but there was a good fucking chunk of them wanted to leave as well. Because we know how bad it is. The fishing industry got fucking slashed by it. And it was just an absolute fucking disaster. And if we don't get anything soon, this, the fishing industry in Scotland will die. Literally fucking die. I mean, if you look at Bucky Harbour, how many fucking boats are there now? Not many. Not fucking many. Even at the big port up the north east, there isn't that many boats. Fucking hell, the oil industry isn't going that well either, so don't put the oil claim in there either. Wales, I don't know. I know a Welsh person, but that's it. He said the vital that the Tory government is the only responsible thing to do except to do the extension. <laughs> the only reasonable thing to do. That would be Tory political suicide. They know if they go back on anything with this get Brexit done, they are fucking done. They are done. And everyone who doesn't like the people who don't like Boris for like stupid reasons, they will be on their side to get the fuck them the fuck over there. And I don't even know who the hell is going to replace them after that. And we really don't want Labour in there because they are just a fucking disaster. Anyway, clashing out with a bad deal or no deal in the middle of a coronavirus would be a deal, a double hammer blow to the economy just when we need to all the help we can get to save jobs, businesses, and living standards. So I added a bit more there. Uh, yeah. Things seem to be getting back to normal quite quickly, so shut the fuck up. Despite this was made in May, so oh well. But he claimed the insecure um, increasing appears of the Tory government is in intent of taking Scotland and the UK down the path of devastating no deal that would be beyond reckless. Is it not because every one is ready for no deal Brexit? They were ready for no deal Brexit two fucking years ago. There were warehouses full of medical stuff ready to go. There was stuff with food and things ready to last for eight weeks if things would go absolutely savage. It never happened. Nobody rioted. Nothing went wrong. We left the European Union. And it was fine. It was America that went nuts. And they didn't even do anything close to this. The coronavirus epidemic clash is the worst in living memory. People and businesses have already struggling to get by. Oh, really? Because you lot don't seem to give a shit about them people. Oh, well. The Tory government must put the responsibilities of the economy ahead of its Brexit obsession. Well, how the fuck do you think they got in? People wanted out, and they were sick of this, and they don't want to be stuck with the European Union because they realise how bad it is. Fucking hell, these people are stupid. Polls consistently show that the overwhelming majority of people in Scotland and across the UK 
want to see an extension to the Brexit transition period and there's a growing concerns across the political parties. It's time for the UK government to act. But Prime Minister Boris Johnson remains defined with the UK government spokesman saying we will not ask to extend transition period. Thank fuck! Thank God! We do not need to stay any fucking longer. And what excuses did they fucking think there was over this? That was terrible. Um, here's another thing that says the spokesman said the government has elected the manifesto which made clear in the transition period the end of December the 31st, 2020, that is enshrined in primary registration and it remains our policy. Yes, it's fucking law that we leave and if we break the law, we're just the Democrats of America and what the fuck is the point of the parliament, the government and everything else? We were not asked to extend the transition period, and if no EU, uh, sorry, and if the EU asks, we will say no, which they've been doing. Extend transition would simply increase and certainly uh, prolong ex ne the negotiations, whilst also leaving us beyond EU legislation and obliged to make further payments into the EU budget, which would be part of that 500 billion I mentioned before. And if you guys wanted to read that letter that they actually sent them, which was still quite a thing to read and unbelievable, here it is here. So you guys get to see the absolute silliness of Ian Blackburn and his team. Democracy hails, eh? It's actually quite, I don't even believe they actually want to do this, but they did, they do, they, they, they're they still consistent. We still have to win against them. Well, let's hope it doesn't win, right? Hail Britain! So guys, thank you very much for watching this video to the very end. That means I'm excellent for this channel. I mean, if you want to support this channel even further, please be sure to like, share, and subscribe this video or the channel in any other sort of way. And if you want to support this channel even further than that, which would be appreciated anyway, please be sure to click any links below for alternative means where we can get more content out to you guys. And remember, hail the Empire!